Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Romeo and Juliet and today we hear from Juliet again in Act 4, Scene 1, where she has gone to Friar Lawrence to try to get help. Because remember, she married Romeo, but the only people who know that she's married to Romeo are herself, Romeo, the nurse, and Friar Lawrence. Her family has arranged for her to marry the County Paris on Thursday. Today is Monday. She's supposed to marry him on Thursday. And of course, she doesn't want to because she's already married. So how can she marry this other guy? And she loves Romeo, even though he killed her cousin. Because I guess marriage, you, you forgive the little stuff. Whatever. So <clears throat> her father didn't take it so well when she said that she didn't want to marry Paris, nor did her mother. They both sort of disowned her. And then the nurse, in an attempt to look out for Juliet as best she can, also encouraged Juliet to marry Paris and sort of forget about Romeo. But of course, Juliet doesn't want to do that. So she has taken off for Friar Lawrence's cell where she ran into Paris, because Paris was talking to the friar about how he needs him to officiate a wedding on Thursday. There's some awkward sort of flirting that happens between, well, Paris is flirting with Juliet and Juliet is trying really hard to not flirt back with him because she doesn't want to give him the wrong idea. And also because she is literally at her wit's end. As soon as Paris leaves and she has a moment to talk to the friar, which is all being done under the guise of she's going to confession, Friar Lawrence is like, you know, you don't have to tell me what's wrong, I already know. And yesterday she had a monologue where she's like, well then, since you know, tell me how to fix it or I'm going to stab myself in the chest and in the face and wherever else because I would rather die than marry Paris. And the friar is like, well, if, if you're so desperate that you would kill yourself in order to avoid marrying Paris, I have maybe an unconventional idea that you might be open to. And Juliet says, oh, bid me leap rather than marry Paris from the battlements of any tower or walk the thievish ways or bid me lurk where serpents are, chain me with roaring bears or hide me nightly in a charnel house or covered quite with dead men's rattling bones with reeky shanks and yellow chapel skulls or bid me go into a new made grave and hide me with a dead man in his graves. Things that to hear them told have made me tremble, and I will do it without fear or doubt to live an unstained wife to my sweet love. So basically, we get a list here of the things that Juliet is afraid of in life. <laughs> she is afraid of heights. <clears throat> she's afraid of being thought a thief. She's afraid of snakes. She's afraid of bears. She's afraid of dead people, and she's afraid of being buried alive basically. And she says to the friar, ask me to do any of these things, put up with any of these things that I am terrified of, and I will do it without a second thought rather than marry Paris. And the friar's like, okay, I got a plan. And here it is. And that plan is tomorrow's monologue. So we'll see you then for that. Mwah.